Hello, I am Fernanda from Hayes International Sourcing Centre in Poland. I work as an internal recruiter for the EMEA and UK regions. I am from Brazil and I've been working within recruitment for over five years now. In this video series, I would like to tell you a bit more on how to make sure your CV and job search strategies are aligned to your professional goals. In this video, you will learn how to create your CV and how to approach the market efficiently. How to start your job search is the first workshop of finding jobs and building career series. So follow us on Facebook and LinkedIn to gain useful career insights. We will follow up with two more workshops, how to optimize your LinkedIn profile and how to prepare for an online interview. So firstly, let me run you through the agenda of this video. We're going to talk about building a strategy, tips for the perfect CV, and a job search checklist. So let me start talking a little more about building your strategy. First, you should identify your two key career objectives and ask yourself several different questions. Firstly, which positions am I looking for? What is my dream role like? And what career step should be the next one for me? Then, do I want to continue working in the same industry or doing the same role? Or I want to be given more responsibilities? Or even, I want to have a career change, why not? So next, after you gained enough clarity and you were sure about what you want, is it the right time? this is the right time for you to identify what skills and trainings and other steps you need to consider to make your dream role achievable. A quick, a quick research on LinkedIn can help you to do that. So you can look for people that have the job of your dreams on LinkedIn and see what they do, what they studied and where they work. Of course, you don't need to copy their education or career, but you can get a better idea of which steps you need to take to be closer to getting the job of your dreams. You can also look for positions advertised on the market, even if you think you are not ready to apply. Look at the requirements and think how you can prepare yourself to get closer to having all these requirements met. Um, so when it comes to your self-development and change, usually people show resistance and they tend to see more blockers than opportunities. There is a myth that good training comes with a big price. Well, luckily, these days we live in a digital dream that Google can help us find free courses, podcasts, videos, and many similar options. There is plenty of free online content available on several different platforms. So you can be smart and take advantage of that. Secondly, what companies and industries am I interested in? When you got your answer, it is the right moment to understand what are the characteristics and requirements to fit in. For example, uh, is your lifestyle aligned to the target companies or industries you're looking for? You can ask questions like, do I need a work-life balance? or I want to focus more on my career now. The, what kind of company culture would fit better with my personal working style? At this stage, you should be honest with yourself and ask for feedback from previous colleagues and superiors. Ask their honest feedback and how your working style looks like. You may be surprised by their, their answers. And lastly, we are going to talk about a lot more about your presence. And at this stage, you should be asking yourself, am I in the right places? And this is the moment for you to connect with the right people. So after you have these previous questions answered, you can start thinking about connecting with them. By that, I mean adding the recruiters from your target industry and companies on LinkedIn, participating in social media groups that are relevant to your goals, and contributing with content in these places. The essential thing for you to think in this moment is that you need to be seen. So let me go through some tips for you to build the best CV that you can. This topic is about different tips on how you can make your CV stand out from the crowd, increase your chances of being contacted by a recruiter and selected for an interview. First, I want to go through the differences between your CV and your LinkedIn profile. Which one is more important and which one will the recruiter see first? 
So, for this question, uh, it depends. For instance, if the initial job application didn't require you to submit a CV on a LinkedIn Easy Apply, for example, then your recruiter may search for you on LinkedIn first after receiving your application. Alternatively, your recruiter may find you on LinkedIn because even though you haven't actively applied for a job with them, you match the criteria for the role that they're hiring for. On the other hand, if you register with a recruiter or apply on a job board using your CV, whether this is through uh, job board, recruitment website, LinkedIn, or directly with the organization, then your recruiter will view your CV first and he will be likely to search you on LinkedIn as well. So long story short, both your LinkedIn profile and your CV will be carefully reviewed by the recruiter in some stage of the application process, and they will provide them with different information. Which brings me to my next point. Your LinkedIn profile is a generic overview of your experience in comparison to your CV. The CV is a live document that must be tailored to every position you are applying for. Both should be updated frequently, but the CV, the CV itself will be better edited and will, have, and will contain more details about the roles and your career ambitions. Your LinkedIn profile should make your CV stand out and increase your chances in finding a new job opportunity. We, we will soon have an in-depth workshop on how to make your profiles shine, so stay tuned for that. So why having a personal statement or a cover letter? The personal statement or cover letter will be easily editable for every position you apply for. It is adding a personal touch and can increase your chances of getting to the next stage of the recruitment process. It shows you went the extra mile and you're generally interested in the role you applied for. What would be the best thing in here is to place your personal statement in the beginning of your CV and make it short and concise. Don't send the recruiter two files. Chances are high that the recruiter will not open your cover letter in another file. So, tailoring your CV to the job you apply for, it shows your recruiters your genuine interest in the position. Read about the position and the company, you, and make sure you reflect that in your CV by using the right wording. One great way of doing that is mirroring the wording on the job advert on your CV. Recruiters usually fast read CVs, and seeing the keywords on your CV will increase the chances of you moving to a next step. It is important to mention that you should always be honest in your CV, and don't add any skill that you don't have. Um, to make the application process easy, you can update your personal statement or cover letter um, to show why you are interested in this job. A great way you can show recruiters that you can bring value to the company is having on your employment history how you were a problem solver in that specific job, showcasing facts and results on how you added value in that specific position will make you stand out. It doesn't need to be something big or game-changing. It just needs to be relevant. Showing that you are interested in your professional development uh, proves companies that you will be working towards going beyond and delivering great results. Not to mention that they will see you much more as a long-term employee. You can do that by showcasing continuous education and having your goals for the future in your personal statement. So. What are the three questions that your CV must reply? Uh, firstly, why are you interested in this job, company and industry? Secondly, what value can you bring to the organization? And finally, what is your current and future potential? Make sure that your basics are covered. Um, your CV, of course, should be error-free, error so clean formatting and informative. Bullet points are your friend on this one. They are the, the key thing to think about is that your CV must be super easy to read. The best extensions for your CV are extensions that come from a Word document. So don't ever have your CV saved as an image, for example. CVs are usually saved in an ATS, that is an applicant tracking system. 
and the systems reads your CV and makes um, and makes it easy for the recruiter to filter information. So if you have your CV as an image, you will be automatically excluded from the selection of applicants because the system will not be ra will not be able to read your CV and put you between the finalists. Secondly, your experience should be listed from the most current to the oldest because your most current role will probably be the most relevant for the job that you'll be looking for. And of course, don't leave working gaps on your CV. Between the experiences you have a gap, you can write one or two sentences maximum explaining why you were not working, uh, if it was a maternity leave or a sabbatical or any other reason that might be. Um, and one additional info that might be really useful as well and it could help in your CV to be more personable, uh, is for you to add some of your hobbies. That could be indicators that you have a certain skills. Um, some hobbies have skills that are transferable to the workplace. For example, like being a pro in a sport, for example, or even if you are an animal lover, it can show that you are empathetic and maybe create a connection with the recruiter as well. And one pro tip that we have um, in this situation is to have a link to your LinkedIn profile on your CV and make sure you have a strong profile in this platform. This will make it easy for the recruiter to find you um, on LinkedIn and have your CV as well and have the complete information about your career goals and what you're looking for yourself. Now that you have a killer CV, let's move to finding your perfect job. Have a profile on the right platforms, firstly. Look at the most popular and relevant job platforms in your market. In Poland, these are the most common ones. So take a look, take notes, and make sure you have an updated profile in, in at least most of them. So if you're applying for a job or the recruiter finds your profile proactively, they will have the most updated information and you will have higher chances of going through a recruitment process. Secondly, don't forget about social media. Social media groups related to your industry are good places to look for jobs as well. So for example, Facebook and Twitter are good examples. Have an updated profile in all of them and keep a lookout for the opportunities. One pro tip would be adding the recruiters and key people of your industry in your LinkedIn network as well. Many times they're not opening a role on different platforms, but they're just posting on their own profiles. In this way, you can be one of the first people to see a new opportunity. Finally, when you apply for a position online and you can see the recruiter responsible on the advert, send them a direct message as well. If you don't have their contact details, you can find them on LinkedIn and send them a message there stating your interest. And here again, be concise and show your true interest. You will almost certainly be seen that way. And if that's your first job or you want a career change, you might consider looking for an unpaid internship as a part-time job. You will get some experience that will help you with your career goals. So in summary, we created a job search checklist for you, so you can get organized and not lose any good opportunities. So take notes as well, and, and if you want, you can always come back to this video and take a look if you're doing all the steps that I'm going to tell you in some seconds. So firstly, decide what do you want for your career and what are your essential goals, then, Prepare yourself for your dream job. Create a killer CV and a LinkedIn profile. Connect with the right people. Keep a lookout for opportunities and apply. And of course, contact recruiters directly after you have all of that done. I hope you enjoyed this workshop. My colleagues and I are preparing two more shortly to help you set and achieve your professional goals. If you have any questions about today's workshop, please feel free to leave a comment under this video. See you again soon. Have a good day. Bye.